Hey everyone, I am Nitij and in this video, I will talk about placing watches in AngularJS. I will be discussing about why we should use watches in the first place and how to use them. So watches in Angular are directly related to the digest cycle. If you are not aware of the digest cycle, then I think I will explain it first. Angular at certain times checks for changes in the view model and if any scope property value is changed, then it updates the TOM mappings. The digest cycle is automatically run usually at events like click or when any async callback is received. So for every scope property, an internal watch is created by Angular and when the digest cycle executes, then it checks all the watches. We can run the digest cycle manually using a scope.digest or a scope.apply if we want to. There is a difference between the scope.digest and apply which I will explain in a short while. Now coming back to watches. We know that an internal watch is placed on every scope property, but what if we want to execute custom code when any view model property is changed? For that purpose, we can use a scope.watch function. Scope.watch will check for new values by evaluating all the watches when a new digest cycle is run. So now I'm going to show you a very simple code example. So uh, we have a very simple index.html file and there is a controller which is default controller and there is a div which is inside the scope of this controller so first what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an input and I'm going to bind this input with a model and let's call it my input alright so what I will do is I will place a watch on this model and whenever its value will be changed then uh, we will do something basically I'm just going to add a span to it so whenever uh, its value is changed then I will simply change the inner HTML of this span into something else so let's also give this span an ID so that we can get its reference by using document.get element ID API all right so before that let's put watch so to do that we simply need to call dollar scope dot watch now this watch function accepts four arguments but uh, only first two are important right now the first argument is a function which will always get evaluated uh, whenever any digest cycle is run the second is also a function which is a listener function now if this first function argument returns a different value uh, from the uh, value which is different from the previous run then this listener function will be executed and this first function will have the scope as an argument and the second function is going to have the first argument as the new value and the second argument as the old value so whenever the listener function will be called then I'm simply going to change the HTML of this span so document dot get output dot HTML and let's set it with string by combining it using an array and think old value and then after that new value and that's it now um, we have done this but we still have not returned any value from this watch function so what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to return the value of this my input model and that's it now let's see if our code is working or not so as you can see there is the input uh, which is um, this one and then there is the span so uh, as soon as an angulars digest cycle will run which will run initially then uh, this watch will uh, this watch function will execute and because uh, it is different from the initial value which is which was kind which was undefined so that is why this listener function has been called 
but the value inside uh, this uh, my input model is an empty string so that's why we cannot see any values now when I'm changing the value then you can see the value uh, over here is also changing so I'm simply going to type let's type some value so now as you can see this old value some value is missing the the end the last character e because uh, this is the old value and this is the new one so it is a proof that watch the the watch is running running fine and if I will uh, remove it then you can see only some value remains which is the old value and the new value is an empty string so nothing is here so sometimes angular's digest cycle is not run in some cases there could be other situations uh, when we could want to run the digest cycle manually whatever be the case all the watches will get evaluated and if any watch returns a new value then its listener function will be called this can be very useful because many times we can have UI elements which are not rendered by the Angular framework but are part of the view nonetheless. To make changes to those elements, after the user changes the view model of Angular controller's scope, uh, we can place watches. Inside the watch listener code, we can manipulate the DOM or we can do whatever we want to do based on our requirements. So um, before ending this video, I'm going to show you an example of how we can uh, manually run the digest cycle. To manually run the digest cycle uh, you simply have to call um, this function, this, this is scope.digest and that's it. And there is another one which is scope.apply. So so many times um, when if, if you will uh, go to any uh, company for, uh, for, for any angular JS opening then I think they will ask you this question most probably uh, the difference between digest and apply so the difference is that the apply will ultimately execute the digest but this apply also accepts a function as an argument now this function will be executed before digest is called so let's say you need to change uh, the value of any scope property uh, or and you want to set it with some new value then you can do that in this function and then, and then after that this digest will be called so apply is preferable over digest just because of this reason okay so uh, that was it for this video guys please tell me what you think about it and use the comment section for any questions or suggestions also please subscribe to my channel to get the latest updates about new videos I will be back with another interesting video soon enough till then stay safe and have a wonderful day